Hello Wastelanders, Vlad here. Today we're going to meet our new light ally Sam Nguyen from Season 8 in Fallout 76. Let's jump on in! Now before you can meet Sam, you're going to need to claim him from level 25 of your Season 8 scoreboard, so make sure you do that. And once you do, you'll be able to find him under the Allies section of your Camp Build menu and place down his workbench so that you can meet him and use his buffs. So without further ado, let's go meet our new ally, Sam. It's a good thing I taught myself to sell. Hey, my name's Sam. If you're looking for help in your settlement, I'm your guy. And I've got two of them. Helping hands, helping feet, helping ears. For a, you know, when you need a good listener. I've got everything you need. Well, I'm a jack of all trades. And I know what you're thinking. But that also means I'm a master of none. But what do you want a master for anyway? A person like that probably has a huge ego and, and spends all day letting everyone know about it. Whereas me, I'm not just low maintenance. I am no maintenance. You won't even know I'm here. But do you know what you're not good at? Being at two places at once. And that's where I come in. Hopefully. Point is, I can help fix things, play things, and even tell a bad joke. You already know that much. Thank you. Oh, this will give me the chance to help a lot of people. I really appreciate it. Now that we've introduced ourselves, let's learn a little bit more about our new ally. I can give you a tune-up if you need it. Alright, what do you want to know? Honestly, I'm mostly self-taught. I've always learned better by doing instead of reading. Plus, I found there's no better teacher than necessity. So, I learned how to fix a furnace because I didn't want to freeze to death. And I learned how to make a generator, because no power means no furnace. But that means a lot of my knowledge is really specific. If you ask me to do something like fix a hairdryer, you might as well be asking me to build a spaceship. I like to think I've got the mental part down. The physical? I'm working on it. Although endurance is probably more helpful when you're fixing pipes and not dodging bullets. My mom and I used to move around a lot. We never had a place we called home. I remember I was about 10 years old when I met this other kid at a junkyard. He offered to teach me how to fix up old radios, and we'd sell them for 50 caps apiece. So the first one I got working, I turned the dial, and out comes this song about West Virginia. Best song I ever heard. And ever since then, I've always wanted to visit. I mean, yeah, I get that it's just a song, but you never know. Maybe it's got a point. And this place right here is where I belong. Not that it matters now, but I've always had this dream of becoming a rock star. And maybe in some alternate universe where the world didn't turn to shit, that dream might have had a chance. But I've seen the posters, and well, there aren't a lot of people who look like me. Maybe. I like to think music is something that unites people. And maybe in this world, it doesn't matter what I look like. Just how I play. But I guess that was the old world. From now on, we get to make our own rules. 
<laughs> it's funny. Ma always said the world would end before I got my first real gig. Turns out she was right. Well, when you're a junkyard kid, pretty much any piece of scrap can make music. And if you've got nothing else, you can always just blow into a bottle. But my first, it was a little hand instrument. Yup, I took a mouse trap and some bobby pins and made myself a makeshift piano. I called it the thumb piano, because you played the pins with your thumbs and thumped the wood like a drum. I could play it like nobody's business, until it cracked and fell apart from all the thumping. Oh, no. I know I poke fun at myself, but I don't think I'd want to deliberately humiliate myself. Besides, I like to think I've gotten pretty good at playing actual instruments. I'd much rather play those instead. The thumb piano was my first love, but a childish one. You grow up, and you move on. Hey, I've loved people too. Just not as much as my Thumbiano. That thing would never cheat on me. No worries, boss. Sure. I hear you get up to a lot of adventures out there. Anything you'd like to share? Oh my god, I heard about that. That was you? Man, that's crazy. I've dealt with some rowdy crowds playing on the road, but never on purpose. On the other hand, a Night Stalker isn't going to hit you where it hurts, emotionally. I almost feel like I can handle a physical pounding easier. Wait, they can talk? I thought creatures like that just growled. Well, now I feel really bad for you. Hopefully you kicked its ass, though? Either way, there's one thing about it I don't get. Why play music? Why did that draw it out? You're right. To be honest, these days, I don't play for an audience. But I don't think the Sons of Dane were either. Out here, sound travels. Anyways, I appreciate the story. Next time I play a song, I'm going to think twice about who's listening. Oh shit, I love that camera! A funny story. I once made a night vision lens out of crystal I got from a floater freezer's pus sack. I didn't have much use for the pus, though. Anyways, that took a weird detour. Uh, what pictures did you take with that camera? Anything interesting? <laughs> no bigger trap for tourists and teenagers than a pre-war shopping center. Why visit a historic landmark when you can browse the menswear section at Big Steve's Sporting Goods? No, I'm kidding. I love malls. It's like a junkyard with more organization. Any other places catch your eye? Oh yeah? That's kind of a weird thing to put on your bucket list if you ask me. But that might be the artist in me talking. We don't usually write songs about monuments to capitalism. Any other places catch your eye? In the Savage Divide, right? Oh man, when I heard about it, I thought the house was like a giant pumpkin. Nope, turns out it's an ordinary house. A lot of pumpkins around it, though. Any other places catch your eye? Oh, it wasn't that interesting of a story. It was a dead floater someone else killed. Whoever killed it didn't have use for the crystal or the pus. 
I did. Nice. Photos are always a fun compliment to a story. Not that you can't paint a picture with words, but it's nice sometimes to let an actual picture do the work. No worries, boss. <laughs> ah, finally! It's Sam's time to shine. What do you need, boss? I can sell you some gear, give you a tune-up, or we can just shoot the shit. Not literally, though. I mean, I don't even have a gun, and I don't think you'll let me borrow yours. I don't know, in a commode? Look, I was just making a joke. I was not prepared for you to take this to its literal conclusion. Next time, I'll remember to bring an outline. But yeah, I know what I can't do, and I know what I can. I guess my point is, we, we should stick with, with the latter. Funny you ask. I've always been good at tuning things. Doesn't matter if it's a piano, an engine, or even a person. Only thing I can't tune is a fish. <laughs> Get it? Because you can't tune a f Forget it. Bad joke. What I'm trying to say is, I know a few tricks to get your mind centered, but the effects can be pretty random. Well, sometimes there isn't much difference between science and magic. Like when you blow into a cartridge or kick a generator and it just starts working. You wouldn't think it helped, but it does. But, I don't know, why don't we try it out and see if it takes? It might not. Sure thing! How can I help? Sure thing. Let's get your mind on key. Our tune-up buff is going to allow us to reap twice as much when we harvest wood or flora. Sure thing. How can I help? I was a pack rat in another life. I'm a pack brahmin in this one. All right, now let's take a quick look and see what Sam has for sale. Not a whole lot in apparel. Not much going on in food and drink. Some aid. Eh. Not nothing. Nothing too crazy here. Um, some junk that might be helpful, and a little bit of ammo. Hey, boss. That's going to do it for today's video, everybody. We got to meet our new light ally, Sam. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for the latest content from Vladministrator Gaming. Until next time, I'll see you in the wasteland.